welcome to Tech Tips from CMMXYZ.com. Today we will discuss how to use Snap to Grid. The purpose of Snap to Grid is to give the user a more precise way to create points. Typically, when clicking on the CAD model to generate a point, the coordinates are not rounded. Let's click on Auto Vector Point for an example. As you can see, I am trying to create a point approximately 50 millimeters in X and 55 millimeters in Y. As you can see, I am close, but not exact. We could either type in the numbers 50 millimeters in X and 55 millimeters in Y, or we could use Snap to Grid. Let me show you how to use Snap to Grid to make this much easier. The first thing that's recommended to do when using Snap to Grid is to turn on the grid. Let's go over to our Graphic View toolbar. And at the very end of the toolbar, you'll see Toggle Graphic Window 3D Grid. Let's turn that on by clicking it. Now you see a grid which is showing us in this view all the Y distances in increments of 10 and all the X distances increments in 10. Now when I turn on Auto Vector Point, there's also the button at the very end of this group of icons here which says Snap to Grid. When that's enabled, every time I click on this CAD, it will snap to a grid intersection that is visible on the screen. For instance, if I move my mouse over to this location here and try to click on the screen, you will notice it does not go exactly where I clicked. It snaps to the closest grid coordinate. So think of our previous example where I wanted to measure 50 and 55. And I click around here, and as you can see, it snaps to 50 and 50. Well, this isn't very good. I want 50 and 55. What's going on? Well, this particular grid is listed in increments of 10. So my snap to grid will operate in increments of 10. If I need to get closer to increments of 5, I need to zoom in. So as I zoom in, you start seeing another line appear, and now it's increments of 5. So, as you can see, x at 50, if I come up here, and then over here I have y of 55, just take a left click at this location, and now I have created my point at X of 50, Y in 55, and all I needed to do was zoom in and click to the closest grid point that lined up the two values that I was looking for. I can hit Create and Close. And I have just created a point at the exact location of 50 and 55 with a single click. And that's all there is to using Snap to Grid. My name is Stuart Burke for CMM XYZ.com. Thank you for watching.